Hello, financial enthusiasts! Welcome to Stock Market Catalyst, where we reveal the secrets to financial success in building a solid foundation for a brighter future. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, understanding the fundamentals of Forex is critical for navigating global markets and discovering exciting possibilities. In this video, we'll break down the principles of Forex, simplify the jargon, and equip you with the knowledge and tools you need to make smart financial decisions. But first, let's define Forex. Forex, or foreign exchange, is the decentralized worldwide market in which all of the world's currencies are traded. It is the world's largest and most liquid market with trillions of dollars traded every day. This type of currency exchange is critical for international trade. Participants in the Forex market include governments, businesses, and of course, investors. The currency market is used by governments to implement policies. For example, when conducting business with another country, whether borrowing, lending, or providing aid, a country's currency must be converted into a foreign currency. The currency market is an essential instrument for businesses that do international trading. It allows them to easily convert payments for goods and services acquired abroad as well as swap payments from foreign consumers into their preferred currency. Similarly, investors use the forex market to speculate on currency price swings. Given the currency prices fluctuate throughout the week, the forex market is open from Sunday at 4 p.m. through Friday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Each trading day begins at 4 p.m. Central Time and ends at 4 p.m. Central Time the following day. The market has to be open around the clock because of the global nature of the economy. Let's delve into the fundamental principles of forex trading. When you trade forex, you are not trading a single product. Rather, you are trading two currencies against each other, which is known as a currency pair. The quote for a forex currency pair determines the relative value of the two currencies. To understand a quote more easily, read the currency pair from left to right. Consider the currency pair euros and US dollars as an example. If the current value of euros or US dollars is 1.20, this indicates that a single euro is equivalent to 1.20 US dollars. Here's another illustration involving the currency pair of the US dollar and the Canadian dollar. If the current US dollar or Canadian dollar trading rate is 1.25, it means that one US dollar is worth 1.25 Canadian dollars. Despite the fact that two currencies are involved, the currency pair works as a unitary entity, much like a stock or a commodity. Similarly to stock trading, investors can earn by purchasing a currency pair and watching its value rise. They can also earn if they sell or short a currency pair and the price decreases. Let's look at an example scenario. Assume an investor believes that the European economy would expand faster than the US economy, causing the euro to increase versus the US dollar. To profit from this assumption, she can speculate by purchasing the euro versus US dollar currency pair. She will profit if the price of the currency pair rises. In the event that the price falls, she will suffer a loss. Now that we have established the foundational concepts, let's explore several important elements of the forex market. We'll commence with the concept of margin. When engaging in margin trading, you are only required to deposit a percentage of the total investment to initiate a position. This specified amount is referred to as the margin requirement. In contrast to trading other securities such as stocks, where trading on margin involves borrowing funds from your broker, forex trades can only be executed using funds available in the investor's forex account. Investors are unable to borrow funds to enter into a forex trade. If their forex account lacks sufficient funds, they must transfer funds before initiating a trade. Forex margin requirements are subject to variation based on factors like the currency pairs being traded and the size of the trade. Currency pairings are often exchanged in lots. The two most frequent lot sizes are standard and mini. A standard lot has 100,000 units, whereas a mini lot contains 10,000 units. Depending on the brokerage firm, it may also be able to trade forex in increments of 1,000 units known as micro lots. Margin requirements for forex trades can vary significantly, ranging from as low as 2% to as high as 20% of the trade. 
However, the average margin requirement for most currency pairs typically falls within the range of 3% to 5%. Consider the euro versus the US dollar pair as an example of how margin is computed. Assume this currency pair is trading at 1.20 and an investor wants to buy a standard lot which equals 100,000 units. The trade would cost $120,000 in total. While this is a significant capital requirement, the investor is not required to pay the entire amount up front. Instead, she must just pay the margin requirement. Assume that the margin requirement is set at 3%. In this situation, 3% of $120,000 equals $3,600. As a result, the investor will require at least $3,600 in her Forex account to complete this trade. Let's now turn our attention to another critical feature of the Forex market, leverage. Leverage allows investors to command a large investment with a small quantity of money. In the previous scenario, the investor can get control of $120,000 with only $3,600. One of the major benefits of the forex market is the leverage available in currency pairs, but it also comes with inherent hazards. With leverage, investors have the potential for big profits, but they are also vulnerable to significant losses. Another important part of the forex market to consider is finance, which entails calculating the net interest gained or owed on currency pairings. This happens when an investor keeps a position open past the end of the trading day. The US dollar is linked to the Federal Reserve's overnight lending rate, which sets the cost of borrowing money. Similarly, each currency has its own overnight lending rate. It's important to remember that when trading a currency pair, you are essentially trading two currencies against each other. Although the currency pair behaves as a single entity, technically you are long on one currency and short on the other. In terms of financing, you are lending the currency you are long on and borrowing the currency you are short on. This lending and borrowing activity is subject to the overnight lending rate of each respective currency. As a general rule, an investor receives a credit if the currency they are long on has a higher interest rate compared to the currency they are short on. Conversely, an investor is debited if the currency they are long on has a lower interest rate than the currency they are short on. Let's examine an example to illustrate these concepts. Imagine an investor holds a position in the Australian dollar versus the US dollar currency pair. Suppose the overnight lending rate for the Australian dollar is 2%, while the overnight lending rate for the US dollar is 1%. Since the investor is long on the currency pair, meaning they are long on the AUD and short on the USD, they will receive a credit. This is because the Australian dollar has a higher interest rate compared to the US dollar. However, if the investor were short on the AUD or USD currency pairing, they would have to pay a debit as they are short on the currency with the higher interest rate. The financing process is automatically handled by the brokerage firm. Nevertheless, it is crucial to comprehend how it operates and the financial impact it can have on the trade. These are just a few key elements we have explored in the Forex market. As with any investment opportunity, the forex market carries its own set of risks and benefits. Education plays a vital role in determining whether this is the right opportunity for you. And that concludes our deep dive into the exciting world of forex trading. We hope you found this video informative and that it has provided you with valuable insights to enhance your trading skills in the currency markets. So, if you're ready to embark on an accelerating journey into the world of Forex, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Join our community of passionate traders where we engage in lively discussions, share valuable insights, and support each other's growth. Remember, Forex trading is a continuous learning process. The more you educate yourself, practice and refine your strategies, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the complexities of this dynamic market. Thank you once again and see you on our next video.